Volner, Henry, approach to the wrist. A brief video. Indications. Distal radius fractures. Flexor tendon repair. Vascular repair, radial artery. Incision and drainage of infections. Excision of masses or tumors. Exposure of the volar wrist capsule. Positioning. The patient lies down in supine position. The hand is in supination on a hand table. Exsanguinate the arm and elevate the tourniquet, if indicated. Incision, see figure, this is the distal extension of the Henry approach in the forearm. Incision is limited to just proximal to the wrist crease along a line from the radial styloid and the lateral aspect of the biceps tendon. The length of the incision depends on the exposure required. Superficial dissection. See figure. Incise skin and subcutaneous tissue. Identify the FCR tendon and radial artery. Stay on the radial side of the FCR tendon to prevent injury to palmar cutaneous nerve branches. Dissect through the floor of the FCR sheath to expose underlying tendons and identify the median nerve deep to the palmaris longus tendon. The volar approach to the wrist, deep dissection. Dissect through the floor of the flexor carpi radialis, FCR, tendon, identify the flexor pollicis longus and retract it only to protect the median nerve, retract the FCR radially and expose the pronator quadratus. Deep dissection, see figure. Retract the FCR radially to protect the radial artery and retract the FPL and flexor tendons only to protect the median nerve. The FCR can be retracted only if exposure dictates this retraction. Sharply elevate the pronator quadratus to expose the subperiosteli volar wrist capsule and distal radius. Deep dissection, see figure. The FCR can be retracted only if exposure dictates this retraction. Sharply elevate the pronator quadratus to expose the subperiosteli volar wrist capsule and distal radius. Homan retractors are placed after exposure of the radius, see figure. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit YouTube channel.